Hi Scorpios, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. I love to see that you prefer me. Go back into your reading and see what's going on with you. Well, remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you are, that's the person to reading with me. All of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Most important messages for the sign of Scorpio, please. And thank you. All right, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Six of Cups, and we have the King of Wands in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse, King of Wands in reverse. Chariot card at the bottom of the deck with the Hanging Man. Communication or taking some type of action. Six of Cups in reverse is um, someone I wanted to let go of the past. And then uh, the King of Wands energy is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like someone isn't taking any action either. So you're being called to take action, but someone isn't taking action and someone is caught up in the past. Someone could be acting out like all in the streets with different people and stuff like that. If you know what I mean? The chariot card, the hanging man, seeing things differently here about taking some type of action, movement, communication. Someone's Someone's thinking about communicating differently. Someone's thinking about something else to say. Someone's trying to manifest something coming towards them or you moving towards it. I don't know. Let me get more messages. One more before I start clarifying. Thank you. We have the Six of Wands energy. Celebration. Victory. Victory after a battle. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck though. So someone's not being honest. Three of Cups. Um, a reconciliation comes together then the ten of swords feeling betrayed by friends someone may be feeling betrayed by friends or family members loved ones um, king of cups queen of wands five of pentacles I'm lost without you energy someone's feeling like they missed a, per a certain someone or a person that you were probably um, intimately involved with you miss this person or they miss you? Something like that? Let me get more messages, y'all. Let me get more messages. What is the Ace of, Eight of Wands energy? The Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding back communication. So someone, someone's not being real or honest with how they feel. I guess that's what this is. The Chariot card. Hangman. Someone's thinking about a different way to communicate or what to say, right? What well, Same thing. What's the Six of Cups energy in reverse? You. you controlling your emo emotions, but yet you can't get over the past. You acting like everything is okay, but yet not getting over the past. Queen of Cups energy, the five of yeah, someone's emotions are everywhere. Feeling all type of ways. Tower card, you maybe super dramatic, maybe about finances, your stability, commitment, something like that, or offering of or, or wanting it. What's the King of Wands energy? What's the King of Wands energy? The five of swords. I'm hearing something about above standards. But we have the five of swords, the four of swords energy, and then the page of wands energy. Nine of swords energy split. Worried out. The borderline depression. All right. So the very thing that a person was fighting for, someone isn't taking action towards it. There's a need for healing before accepting or giving an um, opportunity or chance. What's the six of wands energy? Celebration. What's the six of wands? Whoa. Hold on. Nope. We have the three of cups energy in reverse. Seven of Swords. Someone's not being honest. I said it. I already said it. I already said it. Something is falling apart. You and your friends not cool anymore. Someone wasn't being honest. I don't want to be around you anymore. You're a liar. But at the same time, you're not telling these people. You're, you're a liar. You're, you're fake. You're phony. I don't like this. And you're not being real. I feel like you're not being real about this. Why you're not being real about it? Why you can't be? Why you can't tell these people how you truly feel? Ten of Swords, the Hanging Man. If you feel a certain type of way, let him, let them know. If you want to move on, let them know. I don't know what's going on, uh, Scorpio, but I'm seeing the energy. Because you don't know what to say or how to say it. You don't know how these people are going to take it or something like that. It's not it's not much to look not not much more to look into. Four of Pentacles, um, let's see. Holding on to what? Four of Pentacles holding mm, devil to an obsession, lower vibrational energy, toxicity, Capricorn energy, following your intuition about this energy that lead that's leading to betrayal. Like it's having to restrain yourself. When it comes down to some type of betrayal energy, accepting it, um, not wanting to end something, uh, confusion, mixed emotions, giving off that type of energy. That's you. 
you giving. Maybe you're overly giving in the situation. But um someone maybe maybe someone feel like they holding on. Let me see. What's this devil card? The moon card is a fear. It's a level of fear to move forward, move on, and see something differently here. Um this is causing fear. You're holding on to something that's causing fear. And that's why it's becoming uh, low vibrational here. What's the moon card? Secret. Like someone's holding on to a secret. The judgment card and the hermit card. Making a clear decision here. It's like you know what you want to do. You know. But it's like a fear involved and connected to it. So it's like you have. you feel like you need to keep it, hold on to it. The knight of wands energy, the eight of cups. This is taking some type of risk or walking away from an impulsive decision. What's the judgment card? Let me get more on a judgment card. More on a judgment card. We have the Knight of Cups and we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So someone's about ready to give up. So no misses, no more misses or Mr. Nice Guy, right? The Three of Wands energy. Someone's about ready to cut out. Like you're ready to go. You tired of fighting. You tired of competing. Truth is, it looks like it's a new opportunity elsewhere, or it's time to make a better choice or a decision when it comes down to what it is that you're creating or manifesting. Um, something is something big is changing. It looks like it looks like some good energy to be honest, but it's, it it comes after you letting go of this toxic energy or something like that. Let's see, what's the Hermit card? The Queen of Wands. Someone can't stop thinking about an Aries Leo Sagittarius energy or. The chemistry that they have with you or a connection that they have with you or someone is holding back when it comes down to um, the goods. Someone doesn't want to be impulsive anymore when it comes down to giving it up or laying it down. Okay, um, what's the Knight of Wands energy in reverse? Why so tight in a gift? So someone was like giving chance after chance after chance or accepting gifts and offers. But yeah, someone's ready to give up. But it seems like once you give up, it's a new beginning here. It's, that's crazy. Or it's a new, it's an opportunity here for a new beginning for to change everything in your life. It looks like things gonna be good for you. I don't know. Or someone was trying to no, no, no. But yet I'm getting the chills by thinking about it. It's like someone tried to stop some good energy that from happening. No, Scorpio. Is this someone around you that's causing this energy that tries to hold you back? That tries to keep you stuck in the past? Are, are you manifesting this energy without you realizing it? It's some energy going on here. But new beginnings is coming. So don't even worry about that. What's the Ace of Pentacles uh, energy? What's this Ace of Pentacles? Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Um, there's the impulsive, impulsive energy. The Knight of Wands and the Lovers card. So it looks like an impulsive choice or decision was trying to be forced upon someone but it looks like someone makes the right choice and decision here it's beautiful it's beautiful i like it i'm not no, i'm sh i'm not sure about what's going on but it looks like a lot of healing that's take that's going to take place all right because or well, it's possible i'm gonna say that it's possible for a lot of the healing to take place what's the love is card I'm telling you blessing in disguise Beautiful moment happening here after some type of his energy was trying to get stopped or something like that. Uh, what's the higher friend? I don't know, yeah. What's the higher friend? Yeah, it was some it was, it was some spirit source universe was right here. But yeah, someone with this card fell in my lap in reverse. So someone was trying to control the outcome or something. But the love for self brings that uh, uh helps a person move on, okay. Or someone knows it's time to move on. What's that King of Swords energy in reverse? And then we're just going to move on to some advice. What's the King of Swords energy in reverse? The Eight of Pentacles work. And then Ten of Cups. Wow. It's a, this is a weird and unfortunate situation. It seems like it might have been some type of energy surrounding you, within you. Some way, some happen, some way somehow that didn't want a good thing to happen. And I'm gonna leave that there. What's some what's the advice here? Divine masculine energy, the emperor card, three of pentacles working. 
So um, I was just telling Leo to allow the masculine energies to put in work and do what, they, what it is that they're supposed to do to get what they want in life. All right. And now here is like I have a masculine energy that continues to work, build and work on your healing. OK. And work on like maybe. Or realize what it is that you're giving or offering or accepting as well. I don't know. Let me see. What's the emperor card? Could I find an emperor card as to why is this the this is the why is this the advice? Take advantage, take control of your life. Take control of your life of your life and don't let nobody control take control of you. And remember that the only life that you pretty much can't control is your own. Is your own, right? Nine of Pentacles on top of the Emperor card. This is also someone being independent and maybe creating the, um, your own business, establishment, being being an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, taking your time and creating some type of balance in your life. Okay, so I am going to move on. Let's put a message from the Goddess Power deck because this is my favorite, most important message for the sign of Scorpio. Most important message for the sign of Scorpio. Uh, most important message for the sign of Scorpio. The moon in reverse. Killer. Mama killer. And then we have Epona. Wise leadership. Let's read. Number 32. In reverse says... Sometimes you feel out of sync with life, frustrated that the universe isn't providing you with what you desire. Do you want what you want exactly how and when you want it and feel the great goddess is ignoring you? For it may, for you may be wanting something to happen faster than it's meant to occur. Remember, the conditions of your life are temporal and ever-changing. Maybe you've just been unaware of the cycle you're in and you've been missing the signals. The moon goddess Mama Killer knows the cycles immediately and, or no, intimately. And she'll let you know when it's time for the next phase. Mama Killer is always on track with the cycles of creation and you must trust the wisdom. Her alignment task for you is to re recognize and work with the natural cycle you are in. You will be amazed at as alignment with the rhythm of the universe allows you to once again co-create consciously and su surrender to life on life's turn turns what a beautiful dance when mama killer offers to you her support let's read number 14 and then we're gonna close it close this out relax Stepping into the world with a sense of surety and positive self-worth is what's called for now. Epona, the Celtic Roman horse goddess of leadership and guidance, offers you her wisdom. Know that you have what it takes to heed it. You can do anything you place your attention on, and you'll find it easy to accomplish what's needed for your intentions to take form. Whether you are aware of this or not, the way you manage your accomplishments and even the way you handle failures and losses is modeling the way forward for others. There is a wisdom growing with things within you being true to who you are and placing integrity and humility equal to enthusiasm makes you a wiser leader indeed one that the goddess epona is so proud of so yeah i'm going to leave this here scorpio that was your reading i hope you all enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated um leave a like share all of that good stuff if you all would like to get more information on your personal situation go ahead and book, book a personal if not catch me in the next one